Hi everyone, Bernard here. Hope you're all staying safe and well. And welcome to the Film and TV channel. And we've got a little mini series today, which we can't binge watch because it's on weekly. So uh, I usually give it a couple of episodes, and this one's six episodes long. So I usually give it episode one and two. Have a quick look and see how it's going so far. So as you can see from the thumbnail, we're obviously going to look at visit the world of Marvel and of course the Falcon and the Winter Soldier so we'll have a quick look at how it's going uh, two episodes in which is a third of the way through because we've only got as I said we've only got six so it's not exactly uh, over the top is it unfortunately so we'll have a look at that today please if you're new to this channel please do enjoy what we do I do film reviews as well as uh, TV drama reviews these mini series reviews information vlogs lots of different things quizzes so please check out my playlist and you will also see stuff on my football team Manchester City as well if that's of any interest if it's not don't worry about it or you can point someone in my direction they may, they may be interested I do lots of stuff on Manchester City my team uh, history present uh, quizzes magazine vlogs uh, lots of different different things on there so please uh, any subscriptions or you could help me out that would be very very grateful please follow us as well if you want any followers or friends on facebook and twitter i do check every three and four days so if you seek me out on there there's a couple of links on screen i do actually follow and friend everyone back who goes on there so i do post loads of stuff on there and I repost stuff etc etc as and when i can so if you want some followers and friends, so seek me out on there. And all comments are welcome on this. Let, let me know what you, uh, what you think. If you sort of two episodes in as I'm recording this, just let me know what you're thinking of it so far. As I say, uh, I don't think my opinion's probably... It's, it's similar to a lot of people's opinions who've left reviews, but there's a lot of people out there who've just left scores for this and uh, not left a review. And obviously the score's quite high, which... Uh, um, I think is a bit over the top just at the moment from what I've seen but uh, let me know what you think anyway on this and uh, that'd be much appreciated if you no know, time to leave a comment you just give us a thumbs up I mean all right it's just opinions if you don't agree with my opinion that's how it is just, just, just what I'm thinking of something so far so just leave us a thumbs up if you can anyway if you if you can do that it'll be fantastic yeah um it's class about 12 rating or a pg-14 it's getting various ratings obviously we're talking disney aren't we so they have to be not careful but obviously this uh sort of age group we're looking at as well isn't it it's uh created by malcolm spellman of course uh for Disney Plus, based on the Marvel Comics characters Sam Wilson, Falcon, and Bucky Barnes, Winter Soldier. Set in the MCU, of course, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it shares continuity with the films of the franchise. So there's little elements taken from bits and pieces of, of the films that we've seen, etc, etc. Uh, events of the series take place after the film Avengers Endgame, so 20, it came out in 2019. Uh, series was produced by Marvel, with Spellman serving as head writer and Carrie Scogland as director. Uh, Sebastian Stan, of course, and Anthony Mackie reprise their respective roles as Bucky Barnes and Sam Wilson from the film series. Uh, Wyatt Russell, Erin Kellyman, Danny Ramirez, George George St. Pierre, Adipero Odiu, Don Cheadle, Daniel Bruhl, and Emily Van Camp also star in this. So the first episode premiered on the 19th of March 2021. So obviously the second was on the 26th of March 2021. I'm recording this on the 27th, so we're a day after the second one's aired. So it will run for the six episodes until April the 23rd and is part of Phase 4 of the MCU. So what's it about? Well, obviously following the events of Avengers Endgame, Sam Wilson... Falcon and Bucky Barnes Winter Soldier team up in a global adventure that tests their abilities and their patience. Of course it will. Yeah, Rotten Tomatoes, there's no actual individual scores. There's a 94% positivity, which is okay. The audience, again, not very limited. There's no breakdown of scores, but it's a 77% positivity. Internet Movie Database, Joe Public. There's a couple of critics' reviews on there, but they're mainly looking at the age range this is aimed at with it being Disney. But uh, the overall score is 8.1 out of 10. Very impressive on, on, on Internet Movie Database. There's been quite a lot of uh, scores have been left as well. Episode 1, which was entitled New World Order, was given an 8 out of 10 rating based on 8,447 scores, as I'm recording this. And Episode 2, The Star Swangled Man, uh, got a slightly higher, yeah, I would agree with that. 
I thought the second episode was certainly better than the first. Uh, the Star Spangled Man got 8.3 out of 10 based on 3,626 scores and reviews list. So that's not too bad. So we always have a look at the good, the bad and the... Hmm, yeah. uh, the good, yes. Rob Scott on the 27th of March 2021, so he's watched a couple of episodes, uh, said exactly what I expected. This show is exactly what you think it would be. If you're a fan of the MCU, then the Falcon and the Winter Soldier is for you. It will hold your attention from start to finish and will not disappoint if you're a fan of the movies. The action looks much more like a movie than a TV show and there's a lot more drama than I originally expected. Anthony Mackett and Sebastian Stan are both terrific. So far, so good. Looking forward to seeing more. So there, uh, Rob Scott was quite impressed. Uh, the Bad, uh, new by CM on the 27th of March 2021. Again, watched the first couple of episodes and wrote terrible writing and went on to say, I don't understand why there are any good reviews on this show. I like Falcon, and I like Winter Soldier. Love all the MCU movies, but this show is just awful. Terrible writing. I really wanted to like this, but the screenwriting is barely watchable. The chemistry between Falcon and Winter Soldier is just not there. The actors and characters are being forced together and it isn't working. And the mayor, the, the, the mayor, uh, Ransom Gilbert, uh, on the 26th of March 2021, but he had watched both of these episodes, said, It's fine, but not special. And he went on to say, This feels like the Hulk or Dark World of the MCU shows. It's nice to watch week to week, but it's definitely not a must watch feel or intensity to the show. So there you go. My my little thoughts. Yeah, as I say, I do enjoy binge watching stuff. If I'm going to watch something week on week, I want to be sort of on the edge there. Wait, can't wait. Oh, I can't wait for the next episode. Um, two episodes in, I've not really got that feeling at the moment. Um, and the good rating on Internet Movie Database, it's not really backed up by any actual physical reviews. A lot of the reviews I'm reading are either sat on the fence, a little bit like me, I'll admit that now, or, or are negative, you know, there's, so there's a lot of people just leaving a score and running, so they're leaving a high score, perhaps the Marvel fans, I don't know, but uh, there's a lot of them, we're talking thousands, obviously, but uh, so it's not concerted effort by the people who behind the production in, in itself, it's got to be people who actually like Marvel or watch the thing, but uh, say most of the reviews you look through, I, I went down a good, a fair few of the reviews, I mean, there's obviously hundreds of reviews have been left, and uh, yeah, in the main, they weren't weren't overly um gushing about the show to be honest with you so that was interesting the scores a lot higher than i'm seeing people writing reviews of course there is a lot of interest as i said in the age appropriateness of this as well which is understandable it's disney uh there is some profanity not much but uh, i don't see anything really that uh, isn't too bad for for kids say from eight years and upwards who might have an interest in marvel uh, to watch there's nothing in there to actually cause any big consternation i think the only problem with that is uh although there are some action scenes which are okay they're not certainly not seamless uh some guy said before uh, uh the actually sequences were more like the movie than a tv show but i, I don't think I'm never overly impressed with some of the CGI, even in some of the big Marvel films. I don't think it's absolutely seamless by any means, and it's the same with this. I mean, sometimes it looks good, sometimes it does looks a bit, a bit uh, false, which is obviously what it is. It doesn't, it doesn't look real. So there you go. I mean, yeah. So there is some special effects, but the trouble is, there's a lot of verbal in this. There's a lot of verbal. I don't think younger fans, I certainly don't think uh, guys of eight or nine years old would get, they'll get a little bit bored with this because there's, so, there's only so many sort of action scenes in it. The action scenes are very limited. There's a lot of verbal diarrhea between the characters, etc., etc., and a lot of, a lot of sort of in a shrink's office and psychiatrists involved and all this sort of thing. So that sort of negates the, the young, you know, whether a young people People will be that interested to be honest with you I mean certainly for six episodes it's, it seems a little bit too much so I don't think I think there's far too much verbal for younger fans to enjoy perhaps teens perhaps from 12 13 14 upwards might be okay with it but as again as, as I say it's there is a lot of verbal and perhaps a little bit more action a little bit more story building but rather than uh, what we're getting at the moment so it does set itself to be a 
a little bit of a higher age range. Um, we do get glimpses of the characters' lives and the problems, obviously, mentally, psychologically, etc. I mean, you're talking about life after the blip, aren't you? This famous blip, uh, this five-year gap where all these people suddenly reappeared. So, yeah, the psychological effects, obviously, are there. And, obviously, the, these two guys are sort of... Uh, you know they're supposed to be working together but obviously they rub each other up the wrong way don't they so it, and again i'll get on to the chemistry of those characters in a minute but uh yeah i mean it's it's again of those two sort of um it's it's a bit of hard work really getting to see that that uh chemistry between the two of them it just, it just struggles a little bit in my opinion uh the baddies as well i mean the baddies in this uh are a bit at the moment and a bit ordinary and quite unimpressive despite the fact they are superhuman i mean they, they have superhuman abilities but they don't seem very scary to me um and two episodes in i can't really i can't really say that i'm really hooked and sense any real jeopardy in this i mean i, I want i want these series to be that the world's on the brink of destruction and our heroes have got to save us all etc etc and that's what i want but I don't get this feel at the moment it just feels all a little bit a little bit mundane and unexciting uh, uh, so yeah, I'm not really bothered either way. I mean, I'm, there will be another episode next week, and I will watch it. But uh, say it's certainly not not gripping me at the moment, unfortunately. And as I said, the on-screen chemistry just isn't working between the guys. Obviously, you br you bring the Winter Soldier into the equation as well now, as well as the two main guys. Uh, not the Winter Soldier. You've got the Falcon, the Winter Soldier. Also, bring Captain America into the equation, and it just isn't. Again, they're all rubbing each other up the wrong way. All three of them are not getting on very well, but uh, it doesn't isn't quite working. I did smile a couple of times at a couple of the interactions and some of the comments made, but again, it just just a little bit uninspiring. And I'd like to see a little bit more about the baddies as well. I mean, these guys that are causing supposedly causing all the trouble. As I said, it all seems a bit a bit weak. But I'd like to know a little bit more about them and what their motives are. And obviously, it would help. I think it would help the plot as well if you had some rather than just. Uh, from one point of view you got to see stuff from their point of view as well which uh, at the moment we're not really seeing that they're coming in and out of this and uh, that may as i said but two episodes in um, there may be more of that to come but uh, i think they perhaps should have started doing that a little bit earlier yeah uh with only a six episode this is it this is a 12 episode 13 episode I, you know i think by episode two obviously we've still got room to maneuver but uh with only a six episode miniseries i did, did expect a little bit more oomph by now and uh all right there's still a little bit of time to turn it round, but we are struggling a little bit we're a third of the way through already and as i say it's not really grabbed me to any great extent which is such a shame. Uh, yeah, and just before we finish Captain America, I mean, obviously you, you saw him at the end of episode one come into this. Um, and I just think he looks a bit of a dork in his mask. I mean, I don't, I mean, it's nothing to do with the film. I just thought it doesn't look... He looks better without his mask, yeah, don't get me wrong, but uh, I just thought he looks a bit of a, you know, a bit, bit dorkish, a bit, a, bit, a bit of a wimp with his mask on. He just looks a bit silly to me, but uh, anyway, that's just... That's by the by, that's just how it is. As, as, as a character, it's quite interesting, obviously, because he's not obviously... Some people want him, some people don't, obviously, because they remember the old Captain America, but there, there you go. So, yeah, my rating so far, I think a little bit unfair to rate it as such, but, I mean, if it was, a, if it was a rating episode one, I would probably only give it a five or something like that, five out of ten, a total meh, a total... And in episode two, I thought it was slightly better. I would give episode two a 5.5. So hopefully on that basis, by the time we get to episode six, we might be up to the sevens or eights. Who knows? But uh, we'll see anyway. So that's my early little look at, uh, at this thing and uh, episodes one or two of uh, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Let me know what you think anyway. As I say, it's, uh, it is early doors. But... Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, you, if you've ever watched, you probably most of you watching this haven't seen some of my reviews anyway. I'm not, I do the Marvel, I like some, I, like, I don't like others. You know, I'm very, very mixed with the Marvel stuff. Uh, some I like, some I don't. So, again, at the moment, this is sort of uh, one of the one of the ones I'm not really enjoying very much. I'm not really getting the feel for it. But uh, as I say, I accept other people. As I say, from an eight point one out of ten score, it's a lot of people like it. So whether they like it for the right reasons or they like it because they think they should like it that's another matter anyway thanks for watching where are we going to do the rest of the day have a great one look after yourselves look after your friends look after your families more importantly let's all look after each other
So I'll see you again here on the Film and TV channel. I'll perhaps have a flit across, have a look at my Citizen channel, my football channel. All I ever ask is please stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching. See you later.